And boosting the bay's oysters numbers also helps improve the blue crab population, and those numbers need the help. The population is at its lowest in decades. The data comes from Maryland and Virginia's annual blue crab winter dredge survey. It estimates there are 238 million crabs in the bay. That is down about 80 million from last year. Those numbers can vary depending on things like weather, predator numbers, and habitat availability. But oysters can help by filtering the water and removing excess nutrients like nitrogen. We spoke with the Virginia Executive Director of the Chesapeake Bay Foundation about the numbers, what's being done, and where we go from here. He says another conservation effort showing success are living shorelines. That's a human-made shoreline that instead of a seawall, uses sand, plants, and rocks. That not only protects you know, water from property, but it also provides a lot of those ecosystem services that native or natural shorelines do. And uh, the data is showing us that, especially when it comes to blue crabs, those living shorelines are uh, particularly effective at replacing that, that blue crab habitat. He adds his group is looking forward to a stock assessment, a more thorough look at the crab population. That research started last year. It's set to be published in March of next year.